The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Infrastructure Develop and modernize the national infrastructure to improve the quality of life for all citizens. Construction, completion and maintenance of roads and bridges for the first ring road, Desmond and Abdullah Ahmed Street, Group B. The construction project sector and the Ministry of Public Works is responsible of construction, completion and maintenance of roads and bridges for the first ring road, Desman and Abdullah Ahmed Street, Group B. The Ministry of Public Works started implementing the first phase of the project in May of 2008 at a cost of 29 million Kuwaiti dinars and will transfer parts of the Jahrai roundabout to tunnels as well as the work of suspended overhead bridges connecting the first ring road on Jamal Abdel Nasser Street and the Sea Road. The second phase of the project includes construction of three free intersections, five car bridges, three tunnels and two pedestrian bridges. In addition to the construction and renewal of phone, water and electricity networks, rainwater, drainage networks and sanitary sewage system. The construction and renewal of street lights and traffic lights with the expansion of current road on both sides and the relocation and re-establishment of Al Matabba Mosque. The second phase is located within the project works from the south of the bridge of Riyadh interchange fast with the first ring at the level of the ground surface until it reaches a point at 200 meters from the roundabout gate Jahra. The project includes the implementation of 5 km of highways and sewer drainage and secondary street connected to the first ring inside the city of Kuwait in addition to the replacement and renewal of existing services of water network, electricity and telephones and the network of rain and sanitation. The main objectives of the first ring development project are to achieve a smooth flow of traffic. It will also be a solution to traffic congestion in many areas, especially that the first ring road of the important and vital internal roads, which are experiencing high traffic density, especially at peak times. The first ring project in its third phase was designed to accommodate more than 2,000 cars per hour. The cost of the first ring development project is 32 million Kuwaiti dinars. The remaining time of completion of the second phase of the project is a few more months. Completion percentage of the second phase of the project is at 60%. The annual plan 2017-2018 is a schedule to continue 164 projects that will contribute more than 50 billion in revenue. From Mishra Kuwaiti account, the first train development project phase 2, 8%, three intersections, five bridges, three tunnels, two infantry bridges renewing all service networks. Initiation of the first cycle project phase 2, which includes a range of bridges, tunnels and infrastructure renovation. Picture showing the final shape after the completion of the first ring development projects phase 2. New Kuwait government account, the Cairo Street project starts from the first ring street to Baghdad Street to secure continuous traffic. For more information or details regarding Kuwait development projects, please visit the website on the screen. Loyak, with the valued efforts of its volunteers, organized an open discussion at the UN House on the occasion of the International Day of the Disabled. That was a collaborative with the General Secretariat of the Supreme Council for Planning and Development and the UN Commission. Senior representatives from all parties, including the Public Authority of the Disabled, took part in the event. Uh, today we are uh, working with our partners, the usual partner, public sector, the uh, 
civil society as well as the private sector engaged, UNDB and BADA, which is the public authority for the uh, people with disability. What we are looking at in this event, which is the national, or let me put it this way, the International Day for People with Special Needs, we are celebrating in this day by showing what are the policies that the Kuwait National Development Plan include and the projects being implemented. Our focus is in empowerment and inclusion of people with special needs within the national uh, economy and the society. Members of the disabled community have demonstrated will, skill and knowledge that has triggered a worldwide initiative to engage them as a productive element to society and for overall sustained development. I want to say that uh, here we want to focus on optimizing the opportunities and minimizing challenges. So it's a shift from focusing on barriers to identifying opportunities and how to harness in that regard. I believe that uh, Kuwait is well positioned in line with the Kuwait Vision 2035 because that incorporates the key element to support and empower people with disabilities. Today we are, of course, I'm very happy to be here as part of this event that is uh, um, initiated by LOYAC. And uh, this is uh, uh, concerning the event of uh, 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 overcoming barriers towards sustainable development. Uh, PADA is, represents the governmental side of uh, you know, uh, Kuwait and uh, we believe in PADA that any kind of um, improvement to be done in the services towards uh, the disability population or to implement the articles of the, uh, um, the international agreement to, uh, about the rights of disability. Representatives of LOYAC were well appreciated by participants and attendees who found this event meaningful towards enhancing a community with individuals who possess extraordinary abilities.